All right, we'll call the regular monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District to order. A roll call. Jason Greenleaf. Here. Paul Rodriguez. Here. Ruth Summers. Here. Michael Stein. Here. Ben McDougall. Here. I'm Chairman Nick Rico. Joe Carroll has an excused absence this evening. All right, the next order of business is the minutes from the September 23rd, 2021 meeting. I'll entertain a motion to approve them. So moved. Thank you, Jason. Second. Thank you, Ben. All right, any comments, questions, additions, subtractions, modifications? Barring none, all in favor? Not opposed. Thank you. Superintendent's report. Um, thank you. A copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of September is included in your packet. Our average effluent flow for the month was 1.36 million gallons a day. Our effluent quality was well within our permitted limits. We averaged 97% uh, BOD removal and 99% total suspended solids removal for the month with effluent concentrations of 73 milligrams per liter respectively. A copy of the pump station flows for the month of September is also included in your packet. The cause of the high flows at pump station 21 was due to a malfunctioning check valve. And the cause of the error flow data at pump station 26 was due to some construction activities. Once again, Ken passed, uh, with flying colors, I might add, the annual laboratory certification, a copy of the results is included in your packet. Uh, the new generator for Pump station 18, which is Elmwood Ave, was installed and now started up. That was a planned uh, capital improvement. Is your mic on? Oh, it is not. Now it is? Now it is. Sorry about that. <laughs> Just start Do you want over me to again? start? Yes, let's All right. start over again. Sorry. Sorry about that, folks. Um, a copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of September is included in your packet. That is much better. Uh, our average FM flow for the month. It, was 1.36 million gallons a day. Our effluent quality was well within our permitted limits. We averaged 97% BOD removal and 99% total suspended solids removal with effluent uh, concentrations of seven milligrams per liter and three milligrams per liter respectively. A copy of the pump station flows for the month of September is also included in your packet. The cause of the high flows at pump station 21 was due to the malfunctioning check valve. And the cause of the errant flow data at pump station 26 was due to some construction activity. Once again, Ken Welch uh, passed with flying colors the annual laboratory certification. A copy of those results are included in your packet. The new generator at pump station 18, which is on Elmwood Ave, was installed and started up. Uh, that was a planned capital improvement for this year. Uh, in regards to generators, uh, the lead time on generators is now 40 to 45 weeks um, due to the supply chain issues. Consequently, I've already signed the purchase order for three generators that I am budgeting for next year to ensure that the generators arrive in a timely manner. Uh, the new Vapex odor control system for the sludge holding tank was started up this month and is now full online and fully operational. It's working well. Uh, Carl, Paul, Rudy, and Sean have completed the budgeted pump and VFD upgrade to pump station number six. Uh, the odor control grit tank and the headworks. Originally, we were considering a carbon system to treat the odor control odors coming from the grit tank and the headworks. After looking into the annual cost for the carbon replacement and the current supply chain issues with regards to carbon deliveries, which is mostly coming from China right at this point, we, uh, we decided to change direction and utilize a Vapex uh, system. Although the Vapex unit is approximately $50,000 more in capital cost, the annual operation cost savings of the Vapex unit will pay for the difference in under five years. Uh, the updates to the personnel rules and regulations are well underway. Um, Wendy and I and Josh met with uh, uh, um, Betsy, thank you. 
Betsy uh, yesterday, and uh, they're, um, they're being reviewed by Bernstein Shore. A draft copy should be ready for the review by the board next month. Uh, just a reminder, we'll be holding a one-hour budget workshop next month starting at 5.30 prior to the next trustees meeting to review uh, the line items for the proposed 2022 budget. And just another reminder that the regular monthly meeting will be held on November 18th, one week earlier than usual due to this Thanksgiving, due to Thanksgiving. That's all I have. Any questions, comments for the superintendent? Do we have to be here next month at what time? 5.30? 5.30. On November 18th. What if we choose to hold the meeting closer to Thanksgiving so we don't have to do it again? <laughs> <laughs> Always one from You'll the peanut gallery. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You will have to vote a change in our bylaws because yes. it actually dictates the date. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, um, okay, thank you. <clears throat> anyway, what I think is I'm wondering the three generators you ordered, mm -hmm. I think to make it clean, maybe we have a motion to approve at least the ordering of those now as part of the capital improvement program next year. I think that would make it cleaner. Do you have a price for those? I do. I do not have an estimated a, price. They're approximately, I'm trying to think about, on average, about 40,000 each. Yeah. All right, so three times 45. What's that, Serena? You pick them out? About 150,000. So. so why don't we do that? May I have a motion for three generators at 150K for 2022 capital improvement? Oops. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Ben. All right. Now, any more comment on that motion? Uh, just a question on that, I guess. I mean, that's going to be part of the, the budget proposal anyway, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. If but not, no money's generally exchanged hands until there's a letter. No. It wouldn't be a part of no. the 2022 budget. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the only other question I had is the brand. What brand did you order? Cool. Excellent. Cool. All right. So, barring no more comments or questions. All in favor? None opposed. Thank you. Correspondence. Okay. Let me catch up to myself. All right, Costco, a copy of the ability to serve letter was provided for a proposed Costco uh, facility, uh, which will be located in the Innovation District of the Downs. Um, next item was Three Diamond Realty Mixed Use Subdivision on Highgus Parkway. An ability to serve letter was provided to Atlantic Resource Consultants for a proposed mixed use development to be located on map and lot R50. Uh, 34A, which is on Highgus Parkway. Um, and the third item in correspondence was with regards to Hannaford uh, renovations at their offices on uh, Pleasant Hill. SMRT informed the district on some planned renovations to the existing Hannaford building located at 145 Pleasant Hill Road including renovations to the kitchen and installation of a grease trap. The district responded with the attached letter and out um, outlining current and approved flows and permits. And that's all I have with regards to... Cool. Any questions about the correspondence? Okay. On to the next one. Old business. We have none. New business. To Washington Ave, um, Scarborough in the Scarborough Industrial Park, um, Sebago Technics, uh, requested district approval for a proposed new building consisting of a 6,000 square foot commercial flex space and 2,160 square foot addition to the existing building on lot 25 of the Scarborough Industrial Park. 
Uh, based on district standards, the anticipated daily flow will be 326 gallons per day. The existing 5,184 square foot building has an approved flow of 300 gallons per day of wastewater. Um, I recommend their approval with the following conditions. The proposed 6,000 square foot building wastewater flow limited to 240 gallons per day of typical sanitary waste. And the existing building limited to 386. So the existing 300 gallons plus an additional 86 gallons of uh, flow. Any flows in excess of that allotment or characteristics are subject to ad uh, approvals. Uh, the requested 326 uh, gallons per day of additional flow is fully subject to a capacity reserve fee. The current capacity reserve fee is $18.12 per gallon and it is adjusted monthly based on the Engineering News Record Construction Cost Index. Based on the current rate, the total capacity reserve fee due is $5,907.12. Any flows in excess of the approved allocations are subject to additional approvals and capacity reserve fees. I'll entertain a motion for approval of the project with the stipulations so stated by the superintendent. Move to approve as conditioned. Thank you. Second. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Paul. Any questions for the superintendent? Go ahead, Mike. Um, what's in this building? Um, I'm trying to remember. Uh, I had this discussion. The, the new building is actually going to be rented out to contractors. To who? Uh, contractors. It's going to be divided up into four spaces. Yep. That seems to be the current theme in a lot of these commercial buildings now. Any other questions? Comments? All in favor? None opposed. Thank you. It, matter of fact, in the last plan drawing, Mike, it shows the four tenant spaces. Ooh. All right. Pleasant Hill Woods Memorandum of Understanding. Uh, providing your packet is a copy of the draft memorandum of understanding between the Scarborough Sanitary District and the Pleasant Hill Woods Homeowner Association. As discussed in August, uh, workshop Fairway Drive is sued by a low-pressure sewer force main. This memo of understanding was developed to identify the needed steps the homeowner association must complete, after which the district will take ownership of said force main. Um, I recommend authorizing the superintendent execute the memorandum. Uh, entertain a motion for approval of the uh, results of the memorandum. Uh, motion to approve the superintendent to execute the memorandum. Second. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you, Jason. Uh, any questions about the memorandum of understanding or this project? Comments? This was discussed during a workshop, when was this, two months ago? Two months two ago. Months ago. Okay. Cool. Barring none, all in favor? None opposed. Okay, the Beacon Apartments. On behalf of Divine Capital, LLC, Paradigm Consultants uh, requested district approval for two 24-unit apartment buildings within the Beacon apartment complex located off Higus Parkway. As presented in their submittal documents based on district standards, uh, the anticipated daily flow for the 48 units is 9,600 gallons per day. I recommend approval with the following conditions. Wastewater flow limited to the 48 apartments for the total of 9,600 gallons per day of typical sanitary waste. Any flows in excess of the allotment characteristics subject to additional approvals. And the requested 9,600 gallon per day of additional flow is fully subject to uh, capacity reserve fee. The current capacity reserve fee is $18.12 per gallon, $18.12 per gallon. 
and uh, is adjusted monthly based on the ENR construction cost index. Based on the current rate, the total capacity reserve fee is $173,952. Any flows in excess of the approved allocation are subject to additional approvals and capacity reserve fees. Uh, the invert elevation where SSD3 discharged into sewer manhole 10087 will need to be field verified in order to determine final slope of the pipe and ensure a five foot minimum cover. And then uh, final plan shall include a discrete sewer sheet, uh, detailed sheet depicting uh, district's applicable standards, testing protocols, notes. And uh, the district standards are now available on our website following the, the given link that was. That's it. Recommend approval based on the additional set forth. Thank you, Janet. Second. Thank you, Ben. I should note that the um, there is a representative of um, Teradyne. Uh, the, Teradyne. Thank you. Yes. Um, if you'd like, could you go to the podium, please? State your name, maybe give a brief description of what we are to expect there, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my name is Richard Meeks, uh, as, as uh, David described, we're proposing two buildings with uh, 24 units in each building, uh, basically an expansion to the existing uh, development. Um, uh, there is existing infrastructure that we're tying into. Uh, we'll, we will verify the uh, inverts um, to ensure that we have the proper cover, and we will add the detail sheets uh, with the standard uh, uh, district details uh, to the plan set. I'd be happy to answer any questions, but uh, it's pretty straightforward, I, I, I think. Any questions for Mr. Meek? Thanks, Rick. I appreciate it. Um, I had a question. We didn't need secondary engineering review for this project. No. That's pretty straightforward. I typically utilize uh, uh, Underwood as a um, as, um, third, party third party review on larger uh, developments and uh, more complex projects. This is a fairly straightforward one. Okay. Any other questions for the superintendent? Barring none. All in favor? None opposed. Thanks, Frank. Next time, budget summary. Uh, the nine month budget summary is included in your packet. I recommend approval. Second. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Jason. Uh, any questions, comments on the budget? Well, we're 65% spent, and we're about 75% done with the year and the end of September. Looks like we're pretty much on cap. Yeah, the, uh, the, the discrepancy on the capital expenses is uh, due to the fact that we're not moving forward with the uh, force main replacement on um, Route 114. Um, so that was a large sum of money that hasn't been expended and will not be expended this year. Um, the, in that regard, I do want to uh, make note that I'm actually uh, working on developing, Josh is actually doing it, uh, developing a specification to pre-purchase pipe for that project this year and get it on site due to supply chain issues. And uh, that way we can have it on site and it'll be, uh, it'll be uh, the project will be changed to have the contracted supply, uh, to, to, to install pipe supplied by the district. I think that's a great idea. I'm going to have to learn from that one. Please do. Any other questions for the superintendent? Barring none, all in favor? None opposed? All right, public comments. How's the mottos? 
we got those comments out of the way. Trustee comments. We'll start with Ben. I uh, appreciated going to the employee appreciation dinner. I thought it was really well put together. Nice to meet the crew. And uh, congratulations to Ken for his uh, award from the EPA for doing such a nice job in the lab. And thanks to all the rest of the staff. Ken does a great job in the lab. It's one of those I, I, I don't really need to ha know a lot about the lab because he takes care of it all for us. And it's one of those things. He's perfect. Cool. Mike. Uh, I've also enjoyed going to the employee appreciation dinner, um, meeting everyone. Um, already looking forward to uh, next year. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, being there just reinforced the fact to me about how well um, this district, how the staff uh, and everyone works so well together. And for that, um, I'm appreciative of that and thank you. Um, on that note, it was just before the dinner, I don't think any of the trustees realized that we actually had a uh, issue with our SCADA system at the plant and they were sending alarms to all of us at the plant. And, and uh, so there was half a dozen people at the plant uh, trying to figure it out before uh, they even made it to the dinner on their way down to the dinner. So they, we do have a great staff. Cool, Paul. Uh, no, uh, congrats to Ken and I uh, don't have much else this month. Thank you. Ruth? I don't want to have to do this whole meeting over if I don't turn on my microphone. Um, congratulations to Ken. This is a great group of people. And again, a wonderful um, array of information that is very well presented. So thank you to you and your staff. You guys do an amazing job. Jason. Uh, another call out to Ken. Uh, again, I stop down every Friday. And uh, he's a self proclaimed grumpy guy in the lab, but uh, I don't think that's the case at all. He's fantastic at his job, uh, and he's just an all-around nice guy. So thank you, Ken, for all you do. And uh, also very much appreciated the night out with, with the team and the group. It was uh, well worth it, and uh, glad everybody enjoyed themselves. Thank you. All right, well, I'll echo the comments of all the trustees. Kudos to Ken on the lab certification. Kudos to... Carl, Rudy, Paul, and Sean on getting the Pump Station 6 pumps back up and running with the new stuff. And, uh, you know, nice letter, Josh. Look good in the pocket. Um, with that, I'll entertain the final motion of the evening. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you, Jason. All in favor? None opposed? We're done.